Hi guys, my name is Apathy. I'm a pro player for Team Seattle Surge. And today I'm going to be giving you guys five overpowered things that pro players do in Modern Warfare. Now, these are things that will help you elevate your game and make you perform individually better. And this is something that you want to really pay attention to. If you end up liking this video, make sure to drop that like and let's get right into it. Bang! So one of the biggest things in Modern Warfare is jumping around corners. You camera people so hard. And if you don't know what cameraing means... The best like easy definition easy explanation i can give you is that you will see the person a split second before they'll see you you'll be able to react first and that person will so you're going to be able to get to usually that first shot that first bullet into them and you're going to win that gunfight due to that but there's more to it we're not only talking about jumping around corners yes you want to be doing that we're going to be talking about the nice little bunny hop that you can do afterwards so as soon as you jump around a corner you want to hold your you want to hold the aim in to hold the ADS and then you want to spam your jump button and this is a very good technique because not only sometimes you're going to approach a gunfight let's say a guy knows you're here like, let's say a guy knows you're here and he's right there he's let's say he's expecting you to jump around a corner he's just ADSing you getting ready for it but as soon as you jump around the corner now you hit a nice little bunny hop and it requires a little practice to really do it every time or kind of perfect it and you could do it almost in any angle really I've done it many times and it's honestly really good it catches people off guard and, you know, when you're bouncing around like that, your shot still stays pretty much the same. But when it comes to them, like, trying to hit you, now it's become a little difficult for them. For you guys to get a better understanding, basically what you want to do for to get, like, a really nice jump is you want to hit your double sprint. You want to jump around a corner and just hop again as soon as you land or you're about to land. And you're going to hit a nice little bunny hop. It doesn't look as crazy as, the, as you're doing it. You see, I'm hitting some good ones there. It doesn't look as crazy on my screen, but trust me, when they look at you... The animation is actually pretty insane and that guy just got snapped on so the next topic we're going to be talking about doors pro players aren't the biggest fans of them for many many reasons and i'm gonna show you exactly why there's various things you can do with doors and one of the most annoying things you can do is simply wait at a doorway and get a free kill as soon as they open a the door but that's common sense i want to go a little bit more in depth and something you can really do is really actually good is let me show you right here is close the door and he keeps trying to Ruin my video. You know, you too. So what you want to do is have the door closed. You're going to simply open it and then challenge right away. Now, that would have been a lot better with an MP5. Oh, turn it on. And you can use this technique a lot of the times. You simply want to break the door open and just insta challenge somebody. It's sort of a camera. And like I said earlier about a camera, usually you'll be able to react first. And I have a little example for you guys right now. No, I don't. I have a smoke. They smoke bottom mid. Now, something else you guys didn't know, you can actually peek doors simply by by aiming in and press square to peek the door. Now, there's multiple things you could do with this. One, this makes the door open very slowly and, and quietly. So when you open a door, it doesn't sound loud. So people only usually listen. You can simply and slowly push it open and get pick your angles or just open a door slowly and continue to maneuver around the map, whether you want to pop that silence or what the case is. Another good reason to peek doors is other than like the angles and the sound, you can also throw attack, which some people do this, some people don't. You can top, toss a frag grenade, a smoke grenade, a flash. You can do it with a frag. And I can show you that even peeking a door, you can easily still toss something out. Close the door on them, boom. And go back, go in and chow everybody. All right, guys, for the next tip, we're going to be talking about pre-firing. Now, pre-firing is something that's been in past CODs, but I feel like in this Call of Duty specifically, it is very important due to the bullets traveling more. And I believe I could be wrong about this, but there is no hit scan. So pre-firing is good in two situations. One, when you're weak and you know your opponent is about to re-challenge you or, or aggressively challenge you, you want to keep shooting to one force them back and try to buy time for you to heal or two they're going to run into your pre-fire and it's going to actually give you a chance for you to kill them now another reason pre-firing is good on top of that it's when people are in a power position for example like right here and let's say they they go to reload for a second or you you get them a little weak so they crash down like this and they peek back if that person right there would have continued to pre-fire me that specific bot right there would continue to pre-fire me as soon as i peek back up I was probably dead or I will die. And that's why pre-firing is very good in this game. Because even though they might have the power spot, they might have the better positioning and advantage over you. If you continue to pre-fire that exact spot, more than likely he's going to re-peak. And you're just going to, your shots are already going to start hitting that in that position. And as soon as he puts his head back up, 
he's gonna get hit and he's probably gonna die so even though pre-fire has been in past cods in this specific call of duty in modern warfare i think it's very good and i think it's better than it has been in other call of duties so make sure to pre-fire when you need to it's definitely something you got to practice but it'll be worth it all right guys for our next tip we're going to be talking about cameras and cameraing sort of like i did with the door but this time it's more so about just going around a corner very fast and challenging an enemy now it's kind of difficult to do this versus bots to show you and basically you you want to what you want to do when you're trying to camera somebody and this is, has been in every call of duty and it's kind of bad in this call of duty as well usually on local land and local network it's not as bad but playing online it's always going to be a factor it's you can always abuse cameras for the most part so to give you guys the best example let's say somebody's here and you know he's there you're not going to want to challenge him slowly you're not going to want to go like this why if he's a skillful player there's a good chance he will kill you instead what you're gonna have to do hello mr bot is challenge you want you want to sprint sort of close to the door and as soon as you get to the door these bots won't stop you're gonna want to have to get off the sprint and get ready to snap on the guy now you don't have to go inside the door but that's just an example of sort of how you want to do the animation how quickly you want to challenge and approach the gunfight so you sort of break the cameras and you sort of have that advantage in that first shot even though he's sitting there pre-aiming a doorway so i did it the other day check this clip out nice sure. <laughs> dog that's a fucking beast in those gunfights let's get it so getting better at cameraing definitely takes a lot of practice and work and it's simply like i said basically used in most scenarios when somebody is standing still and holding a specific uh, uh angle or position so let's say a guy's just sitting here right and i know he's here and let's say he's on a head glitch head glitch yeah it's a good spot he does have a good advantage over me and usually when you do you want when you camera somebody especially with a submachine gun you want to be as close as possible so I, if i can i would like to be here because this is a very close gunfight for me here i sort of have a little bit more height advantage so i get to sort of get a better angle on him and i'm a lot closer where a submachine gun will dominate and it's just you want to be closer and close as possible as you can if i came around this corner very fast and snapped on him and hit my shots just like this there's a good chance i would kill them almost every time and that is something a lot of pro players do that i feel like a majority of people don't do and it definitely requires a lot of practice and it requires for you to have really good aim and skill to be able to do that but it's something that everyone abuses us pro players abuse because we know how good it is oh yeah guys in a secret tip a little hidden tip for you guys for the last one put your audio to boost low Camp a corner, right? Shh. Camp a random corner on the map. <laughs> you I'm totally kidding, guys. Please don't be that guy. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. These are five tips us pro players use on the daily. And yes, I'm not exaggerating. We use these all these things on the daily. And these are things that will make you a better player. Make sure to drop that like if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you would like to see some more, I've been streaming almost every day at twitch.tv slash apathy. So if you want to come through, say hi, don't be shy, and I'll see you there. Peace out.